Hey guys, Hello Bella here. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the Amazon Associates program, which allows you to make money directing traffic to Amazon listings. And once a person purchases a product going through your link, you make a referral fee. So this is something that I have never personally gotten into, but I know that a lot of YouTubers do it. Um, one thing that people don't understand is that when you make videos on YouTube, you make very little money from the actual ad revenue. Most most of the money that YouTubers make comes from directing people to products and doing videos about those products. For instance, um, if I am a beauty blogger and I want to review a mascara and then that company could send me the mascara to review, um, they could pay, you know, a thousand dollars just to make one review video. Um, so the big thing to remember here is that you don't want to just put things on your account that are not relevant to what you do. For example, I have always sold on Amazon. So some of my videos, I'll have a link to the products that I use. Um, a lot of people feel like there may be some kind of ethical dilemma in directing your audience to purchase things, but you're really just showing them the tools that you would use anyways. It's just the same concept as you know a dentist telling you which toothpaste to buy it's just that they are not making a commission on the toothpaste so when I think about it I just kind of think about what would be relevant what would be a relevant link for instance I just made the Bonnaroo video I did not make a Bonnaroo video to send people traffic to send people to Amazon however I made a Bonnaroo video with my own time and get paid virtually nothing for making the video so I feel like you know it's in my best interest to post the Amazon affiliate links. Now one cool thing that I thought about this was it shows you how many people clicked your link and then how many people made a purchase. Now I've never put time into this so this is like basically zero dollars, seven dollars for this year. However, I noticed that in April um, I made $5.74 because someone bought like a $70 bag of dog food from clicking through one of my links. The cool thing about this is that they do not have to purchase the product that you um, linked to. They just have to purchase any product on Amazon within a 24 hour period of clicking your link. So that could mean that say someone goes to my YouTube channel, looks up some stuff about merch by Amazon, then later on they order their groceries from Amazon. <clears throat> I would get a commission on all of their groceries. Um, so that is really, really cool. Um, and I think it gives you a lot of room to play around. Um, you can also make an influencer page. So we'll just take a look at mine really quick. An influencer page is basically a page that shows people how you are what you use in your business so for instance on my influencer page these are all products that I have personally purchased um, and that's why I am have them on my page however you could really if you're a beauty or fashion person you could post all the clothes that you have reviewed um, you really see that there's a lot of room for opportunity in this so one thing I kind of questioned was whether or not a small channel can actually do um, enough revenue from this to make it worth their time because to me it seems like a waste of time if I um, you know review the laptop bag that I just purchased from Amazon I bought this bag for um, $70 and I get so many compliments on it and I always have people asking me where I got it so um, one thing that these kind of people would try to do is make a review video on a laptop bag um, and then post it to YouTube and then their followers would basically consume this video and then go on to Amazon and start shopping for laptop bags. So if you're a person who likes cameras, you could do camera re review videos. Um, that's a good segue into what I wanted to talk about, which was the referral fee on each um, type of item. So if you go into Amazon Associates and then you go on to help, you can scroll down to the advertising fee schedule. What this is going to tell you is how much money or how much percentage you're going to make each time someone purchases an item. So luxury, beauty, and Amazon coins are the highest uh, referral fee of 10%. So assuming someone buys $100 in products, you're going to make $10 for sending them over, which is really, 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 really good, especially if you have a big channel, um, you're going to have a lot of content. And furniture, home improvement, lawn and garden, pet products, and pantry, 
percent again a really high um, bounty that you're going to get paid and that's why I got paid like five dollars for a bag of dog food because pet products um, apparently have a really high bounty now on down the list there's headphones beauty musical instruments business and industrial supplies but consider this musical instruments are oftentimes several hundred dollars so if you're making six percent on a five hundred dollar item you're gonna make thirty dollars just for sending this person um, to Amazon now there's also grocery products handmade digital videos tools any category that you can think of on Amazon you can direct traffic to so this is actually a legitimate way to make money however I think there's a little bit of finesse into it um, you don't want to necessarily be making videos just for the sake of making money off of your audience for me I've never made YouTube videos to make money if I was making YouTube videos to make money I would have been out of business a long time ago the reason that I really make YouTube videos is to make relationships and to learn and to build my business and to hold myself accountable really for um, the kind of business that I want to run I try to be ethical I try to never promote content that I wouldn't personally um, consume or use um, and I really really just try to you know make it worthwhile to my subscribers a lot of times you have seasons in your life where things are more relevant so right now real estate's more relevant and fitness is not as relevant um, and you know fitness may be relevant later um, so I try to make videos about the things that are going on in my personal life so when you make videos about those things you can use these links in these categories to kind of make a little bit of money on the side um, what I do is I go over to my channel and I click through my most popular uploads. So if you search by videos, you can see your most popular uploads and how many views they had. So my, so stupid, but my most popular upload was a terrible, terrible video of me unclogging a bathtub drain. And this is one of those that I would have never thought in a million years that anybody would even care about. And I actually need to make an update for that because I've learned some more about unclogging the bathtub drain. Um, but those how-to videos are the ones that pop up in search results. So anyways, these are my most popular videos, so it would serve to benefit me to have some kind of link in the um, description. So take a look at, let's see, I think I did it with one of these Tetra Aquariums. So let me go over here. What I do is in the comment section and in the description below, you want to post a link to the product. Now, I didn't make this video to to have a link to the product. I made this video because I thought, wow, this is a cool aquarium. I really enjoy this. My fish is doing well. The plant is doing well. Um, I made it kind of, I aquascaped for the first time, which is a great word. I love using it. Um, I did that to have kind of a little creative project and um, I really, really had fun with it. So I made a review on the tank and of course, everyone on YouTube is super negative for the most part, but um, the, um, the tank is sold on Amazon, so I clicked um, one and a half gallon tank, three gallon tank, and made my link to my um, to the product. And then every time someone clicks on this and buys anything on Amazon within a 24 hour span, I will get paid. Once again, we said pet supplies was on up there in the amount of uh, bounty that you would receive, so that is a pretty good link. So you get the point. Um, my videos don't get a lot of views. They get views in the tens of thousands at most and mostly in a couple thousand and then my crappy videos only get a couple hundred views so videos that are very meaningful to me and very personal don't usually get a lot of views the views that I get on YouTube are the videos where I'm teaching people how to make money specifically if you check out these most popular ones ever they're all about merch by Amazon and Amazon FBA and of course weight loss um, so if you wanted to make a weight loss video you could always put in there that um, you know here's a link to a book that helped me with my mindset for weight loss blah 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 um, and you're not that's the ethical thing you don't want to just say a bunch of BS you want to be genuine with your audience because the one thing on YouTube that I feel like people really um, connect to is someone who is transparent and slightly vulnerable and always you know tries to give more than what they take from their audience um, a lot of youtubers are constantly making videos about just stupid stuff and they spend the first two or three minutes of the video trying to sell you products and you don't even realize they're trying to sell you because they're like oh 
oh, you know, check out this link to this product and in the description below and make sure you subscribe and, and I'm on this and I'm on that and blah, blah, blah. And by the time you get to the actual content, you've got one minute of content and three minutes of promotion. So I think that is the worst possible thing you could do as a YouTuber is to, to waste people's time. Um, this guy is an example that I want to use, not of wasting time, but of, of what he has done. So he has made a best cheap cameras for YouTube videos review for six budget cameras. He has 819,000 819, subscribers on YouTube, and this video has 2.4 million views. So this guy has made a meaningful video of something that is relevant to him and his career to try and help his audience. So check out what we see below. The first thing we see are all these Amazon links. These are referral links to those cameras. Now he has made it quick and easy to go to each one of these and to check out the product. Even after you've watched the video, you might want to just look at it, put it on your watch list or your wish list. And anytime that you purchase a product through one of these links, he is going to get a, a referral. So, I mean, that's genius. He's probably making um, at least a thousand dollars a month, probably several thousand dollars a month, to be honest, off of Amazon affiliate links. So what is the program? One more time, we can just take a look at it. The program is Amazon Associates. Um, it's often referred to as Amazon affiliate links. Um, if you go onto YouTube, you will see so many videos about how you can make hundreds of dollars a day making Amazon affiliate uh, money. Uh, to me, I think this is a little bit ridiculous. I think the concept of um, making videos just for the sake of making videos is a little bit silly, but there are a lot of people who do it. Um, I've been meaning to review some products that I've used for Amazon and even some crappy products that I've used to run my Amazon business that I wish I wouldn't have bought. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at with the videos. Um, I do think that, that it could be very meaningful to review some clothing items and things like that, especially for girls like you don't know how the clothes fit when you order them on Amazon, but also, um, you know, there's not really anyone making in-depth reviews. Um, most of the reviews are just a couple lines of text. So um, say you buy a really cute dress off Amazon and you are the only one who is leaving a video review. You can post a video review onto YouTube and you can also leave it in the Amazon um review section so that is my basically my take and explanation on the amazon associates program i think that last year i made a little bit of money on it but again i just want to say that i have never really put my full efforts into this um, I think that if you put a lot of effort into anything, you'll get something back out of it. Um, a good goal could be, you know, making $100 a month off of this. Last year, I don't even think I made $50. Um, but if you look through some of my videos, you'll see that some of them have Amazon affiliate links, but most of them don't because I've just kind of not ever... Um, felt like I had enough of an audience to monetize it. Um, people sell their audience things all the time on YouTube. I've personally never sold my audience anything except for, um, you know, the affiliate links. And of course, I've always said this is, you know, an affiliate link. And um, I think that that's been good. There's really not a course that I can sell you to teach you how to be a mediocre entrepreneur like me. Um, I've always ran a small business and I think I'll probably always do this until I die. I'm 24 years old and I will be 25 October 3rd um, so I just think that the meaningful part of YouTube is to connect with people and not necessarily to sell them things however if you are making content I don't think that it's an ethical dilemma to sell your audience products that you already consume if you don't take anything else out of this video I just think the point of this is that um, leverage what you're already doing in your business to um, make you the most amount of money for your time. So for my time for making YouTube videos, I don't really make any money off the ad revenue. I don't make, I don't even make a hundred dollars a month for making videos and I put hours and hours into the videos. So something like this could really be meaningful. Um, a lot of YouTubers will have Patreon groups and exclusive groups. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you're trying to monetize an audience, just be ethical, but also just give meaningful content and you will be able to generate some revenue off of your channel. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Again, I'm Hella Bella. I am a realtor, Amazon seller, merch by Amazon. Um, I've done a little bit of everything, but I'm a reseller by nature. So that is um, kind of where I'm going to stay. Thanks so much.